Chattanooga State, MEC 2320 Motors. Welcome, classmates. Uh, we all have, uh, have an idea of uh, what a generator is and how it works and what it does. But I don't think it's intuitive that uh, a motor is simply a generator which is acting like a mechanical or electromechanical device. And uh, we never stop to think about, probably, that when a motor rotates, it actually generates a voltage. Now, this voltage is not in the same polarity of a generator. In fact, the counter EMF, counter electromotive force, uh, generates a voltage that, uh, that opposes its applied voltage. Uh, when, we, when we're troubleshooting motors, uh, uh, you use the basic tools, okay? You take a meter, you measure some voltages, you know, you know something about your voltages. Um, the, in the armature circuit, we're talking about a shunt-connected DC motor. Uh, the armature circuit, uh, one of the best tools you have is Kirchhoff's voltage law. Okay, uh, we've covered this. It simply says that the sum of all the voltage drops must be equal to the applied voltage of the circuit. Ohm's law. Uh, this is a this is a very simply a very simple law of electricity. Uh, I think you can figure it out for yourself. I'm not going to talk about it. All right, uh, here we have a shunt-connected DC motor. Uh, the circuit on the left is the field circuit. The circuit on the right is the armature circuit. And what I ask you to do is look at the information at hand and determine what the counter EMF of the rotating motor is for this set of parameters. Uh, you'll notice that we have an applied voltage to the armature of 75 volts. It's DC. We have two amps flowing in the armature, and the resistance of the copper and the brushes uh, of the armature is 7.25 ohms. And I'm asking you to calculate the counter EMF. Uh, now then, this illustration uh, shows you how to do it. Okay, uh, right side of the, of the picture, upper right hand group, it says uh, simply that uh, the armature circuit is a series circuit. I know that's simple, but it's important. The applied, vol uh, the applied voltage is 75 volts. There are two drops in the circuit, A, the counter EMF, and the voltage drop across the resistor. So, Kirchhoff's law, number four, says that the applied voltage is equal to the voltage dropped across the resistor plus the counter EMF. Pretty straightforward, little algebra, and the counter EMF is equal to the applied voltage minus the voltage drop across the resistance. Now then, that gives you an answer down at the bottom of 60.5 volts. Now remember, that is the voltage being generated by the rotor, or the armature as you wish to call it, of this DC motor you should be able to work this problem in your sleep.